what's good homo squad it's your boy homo ziggy we back here with another reaction and hey we here at errol allen and dizzy eight hard times official amv now two now the thing is right even though right this is on this is technically errol allen featuring dizzy eight and such the thing is they both released the same song well they both released the song on both of their channels and essentially it's the same song but i figured from it's basically like this i figured i go to dizzy eight so i go to dizzy eight's channel because you know with his bigger of an audience and such not to sleep on errol allen right hey y'all make sure y'all go run it up on errol allen's channel as well because it's the it's basically the same thing but me personally i figured i just do it on dizzy reacted to on dizzy edit's channel because you know with the more bigger you can say subscribers and whatnot hey not to hate or anything errol allen hope you understand because i know you're going to see this when i sh send this to you send this reaction to you so hopefully you understand but either way it don't matter whether it's on dizzy eight's channel or errol allen's errol allen's channel either way I know for a fact when these two go we already know for a fact that whenever these two come together on a song they be producing banger after banger after banger so don't matter which song don't matter what channel it releases on it's gonna be a banger regardless so we better check this out we on the road to 2k and make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on all my socials up there and without further ado let's get in the video And like I say, make sure you go run it up on Errol Allen's channel as well. What you know about hard times? Ooh. What you know about them hard times? I told my mama I'ma get it. I wear my heart on my sleeve. They tried to give me something that I don't need. What you know about hard times? What you know about already playlist and I already pre-saved this on my playlist but yep I already pre-saved this before it came out but nigga right now already sounds like it needs to be on the playlist for shit sure come on now They really thought a young and wouldn't make what you know about hard times. Time. What you know about what you know about them hard times. Dizzy. Working 40 hour weeks on part time. Mm. Single week to see my star shine. Lord, please help. Hold on. Hold on. Cause that bar got me right there. Hold on. Run that back. Working 40 hours or working 40 hour weeks on part time. Nigga. If that don't relate to me, cause bro, y'all don't be what before we ever came to Connecticut, y'all always hear me say back in Florida how I'm always working my job at Pollo Tropical that I used to work. But ever since this whole expensive ass rent thing that came up in Florida this year, me and my parents had to move to Connecticut. So that's why we had to move. But before we ever moved, brother for the past Two years that I've been working there, crazy shit. I've been sweating, I tired. At one point, I almost, hey y'all, at one point, I almost burned my, my eye almost got burnt because of that oil stuff. After drop, after working and such, cause with that frying oil, it was, it's basically like this. When I got burnt, right, it was right up to here, I got burnt. If y'all seen where my end is, right here, I almost where I got burned and such. Thank God that he never touched my eye. Cause nigga, I would have been, I would have been half blind to death. So I pray, thank God that didn't happen. But either way, bro, them 40 hours. Cause no, cause even though I was working part time, let's be honest. And is and even though this is not, I'm a little bit braggy with this, but hey, 
you don't have to hear it from me. If you was ever in Florida and you ever went to the poor tropical that I was at, mother sucker, I, yeah, they could tell, they could, it's basically like this. They can tell you that with me, I was one of their hardest workers there. Straight up. Because nigga, ain't nobody can have a work, but well, people are, everybody's different to their own things, but me personally, hey, I believe in if you ain't sweating, it ain't hard work. That's what, how I believe in. But yeah. Young and wouldn't make what you know about hard times. What you know about What you know about them hard times. Working 40 hour weeks on oh, part time. Praying that single week to see my star shine. Lord, please help me. Life wasn't healthy. Mm. Had to cut some people off that was moving too stealthy. Mm. I felt broken from that damage that they dealt me. Until I looked inside to see my worth, I know I'm wealthy. Life used to weigh on me. Then God made a way for me. Better days way for me. Nothing you can take from me. Might have hurt my heart, but promise you ain't never breaking me. Mm. Living in my purpose ain't no telling where that's taking me. What you know about hard time? You know about them hard times. Yo, like I said, this is even though this is featuring Dizzy. Look, either way, no matter what you say, shout out to the We Bless Forever label that Arrow Allen has. Cause nigga, at the end of the day, like look, I'm a Christian myself, and hey, sometimes through them hard times, you gotta keep your head up, cause at the end of the day, in order, yeah, in a way, it's my, this is how I feel like it. In order to succeed in search, you got to fail a couple of times, work a couple of times in order to really reach your potential and such. Because if you, because in a way, like I said before, if I'm not sweating for my hard work and such, no matter what's happening at my jobs and such, then really, am I really earning my, earning my money? In a way, no, because if I'm not sweating, if I'm not really putting in work and such, then honestly, to me, I don't even feel like it's work. I don't even feel like I'm working for my money. So no matter how many times I might get cursed out by a customer, no matter how many times I be sweating, I come in after work, no matter how many times. What argument I get into with either my co-workers or my customers and such. Or with customers and such at the end of the day i make sure i'm putting in the work in order to not only provide for me but at least help out with my family and such with certain things that be going on so hey sometimes it be songs like this that really in a way makes me keep on going better days wait for me nothing you can take from me about to hurt my heart but promise you ain't never breaking me living in my purpose ain't no telling where that's taking me what you know about hard, hard times what you know about them hard times i told my mama i'ma get it out with my heart on my sleeve mm. they tried to give me something that i don't need mm. what you know about hard times what you know about hard, hard times they never knew about my struggles they didn't know i could take it they really thought a young and wouldn't make what you know about Time. What you know about? Pull up on the scene with the team in a limousine. So mm. clean, it's a remedy. But I ain't a vein, it's a scheme. I'm feeling the strain, living bigger dreams. Mm. Still a young game, but they all call me a father figure. Mm. All the envy, they be hating, they be out to get you. Talking hey. reckless, then they ask you what's the problem with you. What's mm. the problem with you, young? I'm so blessed. I've been slept on for so long, I'm so next. You better show that you're next, L. Cause ever since now you're in the nerdcore scene, show them that nigga you really up next. Cause nigga, even though in a way I've seen on your channel that you have created some in the past, but now that you say you're officially a nerdcore artist, put that mother mm -mm work in. Cause if they feel like you're not putting the work in, then they might think you just trash, and you know yourself you're not trash. I know yourself. I know that you're not trash. Does he know that you're not trash? Because if he thought you wasn't trash, if he thought you was trash, he wouldn't have put you on these many other nerdcore songs from the likes of the Tanjiro song, the Deku song, the Shira, Shira, Shiraki, Shigaraki song. Sorry, it's hard for me to remember that name. And other songs to come. So trust me. Put in that work, my G. And trust me, you're going to be 
in the talks of one of the best nerdcore artists today. Father figure. All that envy they be hating, they be out to get you. Talking reckless, then they ask you what's, what's the problem. problem with you? What's the problem with you, young? I'm so blessed. I've been slept on for so long. I'm so next. Yes. I see my blessings unfolding like oh yeah. Been hating on me so long. I don't what you know about the hard times. What you know about them hard times. This is definitely going that playlist for shit short. What you know about our times? They never knew about my struggles. They didn't know I could take it. Mm. They really thought a young and wouldn't make what you know about our times. times. What you know about hard They don't know about it. Hey, shout out to Dizzy. Shout out to Errol Allen, man, cuz nigga. Most people don't know about them hard times and such. And hey, shout out to all my people out there who really putting in their work in and such. No matter what it is, whether it's music, whether it's the job you have, anything. Put that work in and trust me, you're going to be blessed for sure. Because I'm not trying to say, I'm not always trying to talk about me. But hey, sometimes y'all don't know how many shits. I would say that I don't struggle a lot. But some when in certain times when I do struggle, trust me, I be I be trying to grind it out, trying to find ways of how to make it work. Because if per if people who know me personally know how I struggle in such in a way, they know that nigga nine times out of ten, I this and the thing with me is I don't I don't ever want to ask for help most of the times because I want to make sure I can find a way how to get it on my own. Now, I'm not saying I can't do it all on my own, right? But for certain situations that I know I can be able to, like, maneuver over it or be able to fix on my own, I want to do it like that. But, hey, for all those who are able to do it on their own, fix it how they want to fix it, don't need nobody's help, hey, I salute to y'all. But, hey, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this reaction down in the comments below. Shout out to Errol Allen. Shout out to Dizzy8. Cause nigga, we gonna need. Trust me, we gonna. I'm going I don't know about anybody else, but I for sure need more songs like this and such. Hey, the nerdcore stuff is always gonna come, no matter what. But songs like this, trust me, we gonna need more of this for shit sure. But like I said, it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Make sure to check out my other reactions right here. Follow me on my socials up there, and if you wanna do a cash app donation request, you see my cash app up there. Hit me up and let me know what you want me to react to. But it's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. What you know about them hard times? I can't even sing like how they did it. Let go.